All right, so we're going to do a tour of this very special, special bus. It was a bookmobile. It's gorgeous. This is the owner right here. And he's going to tell us a little bit about it. So it's from where? This, this, this bus was a bookmobile and came from the island of, of Hokkaido in Japan, which is the northernmost island. Wow. And uh, it came from a mountain city called Asakahawa. So um, um, I had it imported to the United States, and uh, it's four-wheel drive, has a little four-cylinder diesel on it, and, uh, and a five-speed, and uh, I've had it about a year, and it's been a lot of fun. I um, bet so. The, uh, the paint job was done in 1993 by a Japanese artist and painted with car paint, and it was always kept inside because it had books in it. Oh, yes. So, um, so that's really all I know about the bus, and I've had a lot of fun with it, and I'm just down here traveling around. So. That's fantastic. So I'm going to peek on in there. <laughs> Wow, look at this. <laughs> My girls have decided to do the trip with me. He hasn't built it out yet, but he's got it efficiently organized in here. He's got his bed. He's got his totes. He's got Smokey in here. I love that. Yes, he has got it very well organized for the preliminary build. Can't beat that. Skylight up here. Oh my goodness, and the views all the way around inside here are awesome. This is amazing. Girls, what do you think? Yeah, how about that? Let's go on outside. No, 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 Riley. Come on. This is fantastic. Okay, let's go down. We're going to check it all out here. Oh, wow. And he's got a Honda on the back to play. Well, this is something that you don't usually run into is a big a book mobile from Japan <laughs> is that not awesome All right. I appreciate you letting me go in there and uh, shared some, uh, you know, history about this. You're very welcome. This is outstanding. I know my viewers are going to absolutely love this. <laughs> so it's going to be a great share. These were originally built as Japanese tourist buses. Uh huh. And in the 1960s, and 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 they were really round. Okay. And, and the the Japanese nicknamed them a, a Daruma Rosa. And, a, and a, a Daruma is a traditional Japanese doll. Oh, okay. And, and, and that little that little guy that up little... on the dashboard, my little brother lives in Tokyo, and he brought me back. And that's not a Rosa. That's 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 a different uh, Daruma doll. Okay. And, but the original buses were shaped like that. And the Japanese people loved them, and they gave them a nickname, and the nickname stuck. And all the other buses I've seen like this are badged Rosa. And this one was badged Puso because I think it was a one-off. Okay. Wow, what incredible uh, history. Uh, Mitsubishi Puso. Uh, Mitsubishi is an international car company, and Puso is the truck division, and they're the largest truck manufacturer in the world. Wow. And they built big semis, and, and, uh, and then this one is a Puso Canter, which is a small truck division of Puso, and then it has a Rosa bus body on it. So, oh, okay. So, but I've had a lot of Oh, you've got a great, great ride here. It's going to be an incredible. I can see your organization in there. You're going to really make that something special. Someday, you know, but I don't know. Yeah. You know, keep it simple. 
Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I like that. Yeah. That's how my shuttle bus is. It's yeah. very simple. Yeah. Love it. Appreciate it so much. Thank well, you. You're very welcome. I'll look forward to seeing your video. All right. You sure will. <laughs> So this is Osaka Osakahawa. Osakahawa. Uh -huh. All right. And according to my little brother, um, the island of Hokkaido was a recreation area. Oh, and okay. It was kind of the last rural island of Japan that was, you know, developed. You know. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, it sounds like a really beautiful place. And I've actually watched YouTube videos of the city of Osakahawa. Uh -huh. it's, it's in a valley, you know, up in the mountains, surrounded by mountains. Oh, I, I bet that's that gorgeous. The idea of the four wheel drive bus. Mm -hmm. And the scenic um, little graphics there of the, yeah, of yeah, the forest had, and it, stuff. It had, it has a uh, 85,000 kilowatt diesel furnace in it, or D DTU diesel furnace. Whoa! And the idea was they could pull in someplace and pin the back doors open and then pull out a set of stairs. And then uh, the people could come in and pick out their books, and then there was a little librarian's desk behind the driver's seat, mm -hmm. and then go out that, the side door. But all the time they had the doors open and that big diesel panel sign. So. Whoa. And it, everything works on it. So oh. it had a PA system on it. I saw that up there. I was like, wow. Big speaker in the front, big speaker in the back. And, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's quite a conversation. It certainly is. You got a very unique one. Not too many people are riding around in one of these, that's for sure. And then with you knowing all the history and knowledge of it, that's just incredible. It's 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 a fun share. <laughs> well again, thank you.